Okay. G'day from wherever you're watching. I'm Ben Mackey, the director of Scribe Copywriting. I'm appearing with the talented and charming Prosper Tauravinga. I think I'm pronouncing that correct. Forgive me if I'm not Prosper. On the online prosperity show, and I'm going to be te teaching you a little bit more about the amazing world of copywriting. And if you're wondering, no, it is not legally copywriting stuff. It is literally the writing of copy, and it has so many purposes, and there are so many amazing things that it can do for your business. I don't care what industry you're in. You're about to learn something amazing, so sit and watch. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you Ben, the copywriter from Scribe. Ben, how are you doing, my man? I'm going well, thanks, Prosper. Absolutely. Obviously, you're the guy that writes words that sell. I mean, if you're a coach, consultant, or small to medium business, you would understand that copy is what makes your sales pages uh, convert. And Ben here helps businesses to perfect their marketing message so that they can attract more of their top value clients. Now, wouldn't that be nice? And on top of that, he's giving us the gift of our time back. So if you've got the right kind of message going to the right kind of people, obviously you will be converting a whole lot more than you would be doing without the right words. But a lot of us get it wrong. I've gotten it wrong before. You've probably gotten it wrong before. We are probably using our niece or our grandmother or our mothers to write the words for us based on what they think sounds well. You're going to need a copywriter for that to happen. So before you go out and hire your business copywriter, I want you to make sure that you take advice from Ben so that you can create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Ben, I could go on and on and talk about copy and everything else, but I'll be defeating the whole purpose of having you on the show today. Tell us a little bit about yourself and exactly what it is that you do for businesses. Thanks, Prosper. Look, essentially, I help businesses to perfect their marketing message. So quite often you can struggle for the right words to say. If you've got that fear of standing in front of a group of people on stage or making a speech, then you might also understand that hesitation that a lot of us feel when it comes to telling people about our business and being stuck for what to write, whether it's your website, whether it's trying to start writing a series of blog articles, all that sort of stuff. And the aim of what I do is to remove that stress. And uh, if, if you're not particularly good at writing, and let's face it, some of us aren't, if that's not, if that's not your strong point, you can hand that over to me and I can take care of it for you. You get your time back and we perfect your marketing message so that you can start attracting more of your ideal leads. Uh, on top of that, I also offer copy consultancies for those of you that want to go ahead and do your own thing, but you just want to get some feedback on what strategies you should be looking at and the stuff that you've already written so that I can help make it better for you. But Ben, you've already come to my website. You've seen my emails to you. Um, you've seen the clients that are writing to you stuff, you know, uh, they've written it by themselves. Okay. This yeah. is not like a grammar test or a spell check. Why should people actually pay a copywriter to write their copy? Well, think of it this way. If, uh, all right, let, let's say that you want to get a new website up and running. Now, you could learn how to design it yourself and all the back-end stuff, or you could get a web developer to do that for you, and they can put the professional touch on it for you. If you're renovating your house, you can learn how to do it yourself, or you can get a handyman or a, a team to do it for you who've got experience in the industry. So if, you re if you're really serious about getting the right message across and getting the most out of all the copy that you put out there, whether it's like I said, your website or your professional socials or no, like, well, let, let's even say something like a series of EDMs, sales letters and that sort of thing. You can go ahead and you can learn how to do it yourself or you can get somebody who does it professionally, who like somebody like a copywriter to take care of that for you and they bring their expertise and they've often worked with clients that are very similar to yourself in the same kind of business. So they bring that expertise and that experience and they can just help you to do those little things better. Absolutely. I was reading somewhere before we got started that great copywriting, you know, doesn't really call attention to itself. 
Okay, I'm clever, right? By having picked up that little nugget of gold. But actually, great copywriting uh, focuses on the message and it actually carries them on an emotional journey. Aren't we just wanting to sell our products? Why do we want to go into the whole emotional roller coaster that our clients are going through in order for us to, um, you know, sell our goods and services? Yeah. What you sorry, you're asking why do we want to go into that whole emotional roller coaster? Yes. yes. Well, I guess. I, I guess some people they enjoy that, like they enjoy the ups and downs of all of that. They, some people just insist on doing it themselves. Some people just want to go ahead and, and do it their own way, and that either comes through an experience or just comes through, uh, comes through assuming oh it's all right and I can take care of it myself. And then some people get a bit further along with it, and then they realise it's more difficult than they than they thought it was going to be. I mean. I'm sure we can all think of a project that we undertook and we thought, oh, this will be done in, say, two weeks or done in a month or something. And then there you are a few months later and it's still not finished. Absolutely. Now, there's a lot of industries out there. There's coaches, consultants. There's, you know, people that are, have particular um, industries that have particular jargon and particular mannerisms and words that they use within that industry. Is it important that the copywriter that we're hiring should be very well versed with the industry that um, you know you're engaging in? If they've got uh, if they've got existing knowledge of that industry, yeah, look, it definitely helps. Saying that you can you can take on a project and not have a great uh, a great deal of knowledge about that industry, but working alongside the client, but also doing your own research, there's a lot that you can discover in uh, quite a short space of time, thanks to the wonders of the internet. Absolutely. And, you know, with the way we have become our own sort of personal brands, does the copywriter have to maybe adapt my voice or my mannerisms or the way that I speak, uh, especially when they're writing content on maybe socials or on the mm -hmm. websites or as emails? Yeah, look, uh, that's definitely important. And we call that tone. It's finding the right tone. If you think of a like think of a website for a retirement home now, it's going to be written a little bit differently to a website for an adventure tourism company or say a, a line of children's toys or a, a department store. It's going to be there's going to be different language used. You're going to pay attention to different things. You're going to emphasize different things. It, it really again depends on who you're writing for, and you want to you if if you aren't one of those people. You want to make sure that you've got a very good understanding of who those people are. What's important to them? Like, uh, what what's their opinion on X, Y, Z? Uh, how do they speak? All those little details make it much easier for you to go ahead and write the copy. And sometimes that's something where you've already got a great deal of knowledge about that. But other times it takes a bit more research to really get an understanding of who you're writing for. Absolutely. I mean, as a copywriter, you already have a set of clients that you enjoy working with could you just walk us through what an ideal or dream client of you know scribe copywriting looks like or presents like the the ideal client for me is somebody who's ready to ready to take action and they're happy to take my feedback on board with stuff some people have got a very clear idea of what they want and they just don't have the time to do it there are other people who only have a vague idea of of how to get the results they're looking for and that's why they get me on board in the first place but i love a client who can see the big picture i love a client who's willing to take on board my feedback and they're quick to communicate because it's easy to get great results for people like that absolutely and Half of the time when we present or we ask or engage a copywriter to write stuff for us, there is deadlines and, you know, things that need to be done um, to respond to activities that might be happening in the marketplace or things of that nature. How is a good copywriter, um, you know, measured by his ability to respond to client requests that might be, um, you know, immediate well it really depends on who you're who you're speaking with in my case let's say that i'm talking to a lead i'll always ask them is there a deadline for this is there a certain time frame that this needs to be completed by 
if it, if they need it due ASAP, then we we put forward the proposal and the pricing accordingly and say, look, we'll have that to you by that certain date. If there's another client and it's not urgent, then we we've got a bit more uh, we've got a bit more of a, of a grace period in terms of time. But what you should be looking for with a copywriter is do they have some kind of guarantee if they're will, if they're willing to offer you the project in it within a certain time frame? It just depends on what your deadlines are. Absolutely. One of the things that you know I've seen on your site and I've seen with you as a person, um, you know, that has been, a, you know, instrumental in growing a business is the power of the right people and connections. How is this important, um, you know, for any person that's in business to have these qualities and does copy also help in ways to create and foster these relationships with people? That's a great question to ask. And the reason that's a great question to ask is because it actually helps further explain what a copywriter does for your business. So if you've been in business for any amount of time, you're going to realize pretty quickly that you can't do it all by yourself. It doesn't matter how talented you are. It doesn't matter what your accreditations are, your skill level, your experience, anything like that. Um, you really need to, you really need a, a team of people to help deliver for you, whether it's delivering new leads, delivering projects, anything like that. So if you're a business owner and you want to ramp up the scale of your operations, you want to expand, you want to go to that next level, it may, it's going to require the help of other people, the people that you meet through, say, networking events or just the people in your social contacts or your colleagues and connections. I'm sure it's the same situation for yourself, Prosper, but I've had so many great clients that I wouldn't have heard from if they hadn't been introduced to me as a referral by somebody else. So... In order for any business, any individual even to be successful, it requires the efforts of the people around them. Uh, no man or woman is an island, let's face it. What copywriting does is it takes that same principle of word of mouth and it uh, takes up about 10 levels. It, it's a case of not just having people find out about you who live in your local area or in your business networking group. It's potentially people finding out about you all over the world. And it has that power, the power of the written word to spread your marketing message as far and as wide as, as you want it to. Absolutely. And obviously, when it comes to networking, people get to know, like, and trust you. And we all know that people do business with those they know, like, and trust. How important is it to uh, maybe tell your story or sell using stories, um, you know, in, in, in marketing or in copywriting? Well, yeah, again, it's it follows the human principles, doesn't it? You think about any great relationship that you have, whether it's a professional relationship or a romantic one or the friendships that you have, they didn't just happen overnight like that, generally speaking. Like it it took it took give and take, it took time spent together to understand one another and to realize that there was that connection there on some level. And through your business, it's it's the same thing. If people haven't heard of your business before then there's still that gray area there. But the more that you share your stories, the more that people find out about your business. And I'd argue most importantly, the more that they, the more that they find out about the people behind the business, i.e. you, the more that they find out about you and your team, even if you've never actually met them physically, it feels like that they actually know you and then they trust you. And the better that people trust you, then the more likely they are to buy from you, whether they're currently looking at making a purchasing decision or whether they're, a year or two years or more from making a purchasing decision. Now, for the people at home, I don't know how much a typical sale is for you, but you can do the calculations in your head how much a, a, a typical transaction makes for your business. But if it's generally big money transactions that are coming into your business, think about what the value would be if you bothered to keep those lines of communication going and you bothered to have an ongoing dialogue with just one person. If you bothered to go that extra step and to establish a relationship with just one person, not even talking about their connections or the people that they know that you don't know yet. How much would that bring into your business just based off one person and what one typical sale is worth to your business? That, that's what I'd encourage people to ask themselves. Absolutely. Because all of that emanates, you know, through uh, relationships and um, at, um, at any point when somebody is looking maybe for a, uh, copywriter, how do they prepare themselves to then allow somebody to extrapolate all of that information in order for the copywriter 
to to be able to really make those words sing. Okay. It's going it, it will probably differ slightly just depending on on who you're speaking with but from personal experience, what I like to do with clients is, first of all, obviously, I, I find out what they need. Like, what's their what's their end goal? Uh, I offer five guarantees to my clients. One of those is what I call win-win. And that means that if I can't directly help them to achieve their goals, I'll refer them on to somebody who can. Uh, because I know a great deal of people who, especially in the digital marketing space, who specialize in all different areas. And so, first of all, I want to be sure that, that I'm actually the right match for this potential client. And uh, what, what happens then is that once I'm sure that I am the person who can help them, that we're the, we're the group who can help them, that I'll ask them to send me all the information they've got about their business. Anything that they've worked on, anything that even if they aren't 100% sure that it will help, just send it through to me. And I'll also send them a questionnaire if they're still not clear on a lot of things. And then based on those answers and based on the information they send through, that makes it much easier to put together a proposal or to start on the project and to get it pretty close, if not right, bang on what they're looking for. Absolutely. Right. So just in case somebody wants to maybe um, get a hold of you just so that they can get their, um, you know, copywriting, you know, uh, gig or uh, needs fulfilled what's the best mm -hmm. way that people can get a hold of you there um ben yeah sure thing look i'll be happy to include some links also for people at home but you can contact me at ben at scribecopywriting.com.au that's generally the most prompt way that i get in touch with people also you can visit the website at www.scribecopywriting.com.au take a look there uh, you can also find me on linkedin ben mackie on linkedin find us there and that's the best way to get a conversation started. Absolutely. One of the things that you mentioned when we started this um, uh, episode was for those that might want to become a copywriter themselves, what sort of advice can you give people that are looking, you know, at copywriting as a profession, maybe the things that you have come across that they can uh, shorten their learning curve? Yeah, sure. Well, look, there's any amount of, there's any amount of books, online courses, all that sort of stuff that you can do. Uh, like myself, I actually did a year's correspondence course with the Australian School of Copywriting down in Melbourne when I started. Never actually went down there, but I did it all by correspondence. And that helped me get up to speed with a few different things. Uh, I also actually have the comprehensive copywriting guide for sale as well. It's $14.95, but that takes you through everything that you need to know about writing copy for your websites, your blogs, your uh, sales letters, social media, your, even writing your own ebook, all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's just, that's just one example. And it's a quick reference guide helping people like that. Aside from those things, uh, as, as the old saying goes, a good writer writes. Uh, the more that you write, the better that you're going to become at writing your own content. Uh, just as an example, I, I've kept a journal for the last decade and I haven't always, I haven't been consistent with it all the time. Like sometimes there's been over a week where I haven't written a single thing. And then there's been other bursts where I've been putting down an entry every day. But even just writing stuff like that, stuff that isn't directly related to what writing copy for clients or writing copy for your own business, that helps to polish your, your, your writing game as well. And that goes without uh, mentioning the obvious ones, which is reading other people's writing, paying attention to people whose writing style you like and trying to pick that apart and work out what it is that you like about certain passages. Now, something else that I did uh, more recently was I actually created a, a Microsoft PowerPoint document and for online pieces that I really like, I'll screenshot certain verses or paragraphs where I think, wow, that was so well written. And I'll put that into certain categories. I'll copy paste it into this PowerPoint document and I'll just go back and look through it at times and and work out what it is that I love about, it, it could be anything. It could just be the, the, the flow of writing. It could be the way that they've described a certain personal situation. But if something resonates with you, then keep a copy of it, whether a physical copy and you cut it out or you highlight it in a book or you screenshot it, that's also going to help. And when you go back and you read that stuff, it really helps if you're preparing to write a piece. Um, just look, look at the people who's writing you enjoy in a nutshell. And over time, you'll begin to find your own style with the help of people who've gone before you. 
Absolutely. Why invent mediocrity when you can copy genius? But that doesn't necessarily mean you can go and plagiarize, right? Yeah. Well, you don't you don't need to you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Maybe you just got to put new rims on it. Uh, fantastic. I like that. You know, twenty ones yeah. on a <laughs> that's it, on a that's Ford it. Focus. <laughs> yeah, that's it with a big spoiler on the back too. <laughs> great stuff well ben i really appreciate your time with me today i know we could go on and on maybe we could actually start scheduling a few more episodes what i really wanted us to cover we have covered today which is just generally having an understanding of what a copywriter does and what it actually means to find the best um you know for your business because a lot of people don't quite understand the importance of putting words that actually sell and what you said um, towards the end of just keeping a swipe file of the uh, stuff that resonates with you because there's a reason why that those words, you know, um, really spoke to you. And if you are going to need to be competitive in the marketplace there and really take your clients on a journey which basically helps them to convert on your website, then you definitely are going to need, um, you know, people like Ben, who is rightfully positioned to help your business perfect your marketing message. Because without a message, then you wouldn't have an audience or you wouldn't even have a business at the end of the day. Ben, I actually would like to thank you for the time that you took just to clarify a few of these nuggets but i would like to invite you again so that maybe we can really go into depth with these um you know topics on copywriting because it is something that um if it's there on the website you feel it but if it's not there you can tell something is wrong with the website so so many people might really need to be constantly reminded um you know of the aspects of copywriting so with your permission maybe I would invite you again so that we can maybe tackle topic by topic, maybe looking at the rules, looking at how to actually structure certain aspects of copy, maybe be it for your website or be it for your direct marketing or email marketing. Maybe we can actually really start to create a series like that. Would you be open to things like that, Ben? Yeah, look, I'd love to do that. There's a lot more that we could talk about here. Even just as you, even as just as you were talking, I can't remember exactly what you said, but um, there's definitely, I think, a problem a lot of people have where they read something that they've written or that somebody in their team has written and something just, something feels off, something doesn't quite feel right and they can't pick out what that elusive thing is. And that's exactly where somebody like myself comes on board when it's either consulting with clients and I can pinpoint, or oh, look at this, this, and this, or it's writing their copy as well. It's, it's that, as, you, as you kind of just summed up yourself, it's just those little things and that's where a copywriter really shows their true value. Absolutely. Just like you wouldn't go out and take out your own tooth, even if you are brave enough, you'd go to a dentist. If you really want to craft a good piece of copy that actually converts, you're going to need a specialist. Ben, I can't thank you enough for your time today. No, nah, that's all right, Prosper. I look forward to coming back again soon and sharing a bit more about the amazing world of uh, copywriting and business marketing as well, let's face it. Absolutely. <laughs>